Hello guys, welcome back to Pop Games once again for another unboxing. Today I'm gonna be doing the unboxing for Hatsune Miku Project Diva F Second. The copies I have in front of me are the PS Vita and the PS3. It is a PlayStation exclusive. This game is T14. And in the front cover you can see the main character Hatsune Miku striking a pose. These two covers are not the same. Where you see on the PS Vita, she has a different pose than the PS3. The background also seems different where this one is more lighter. This one is like a darker background with like neon lights. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Um, on the PS Vita copy on the bottom, it does say memory required two megabytes. All right, and now after we have enough of the front cover, let's move on to the side. Both these copies are not the same on the side cover as well. The front cover does move on to the side. It's not a solid background, uh, solid side cover. And the top view, all right, these two copies in front of me are a Y fold. With that, let's move on to the back. Um, the back does say the same thing except for like little parts. The scenes are also alike. Besides like the uh, size difference, of course. Um, so I'll be reading for you guys the PS3 copy. Here we are. Her voice echoes on. Hatsune Miku, the world's most famous digital singer, returns in an all new rhythm video game featuring the best new music and classics reborn. Tap, hold, and flick to the beat as you play through 40 addicting songs and four expansion difficulty settings that will keep you coming back for more. All right, from the first scene here, you can, on the bottom, you can see uh, it says over 100 costumes and 150 accessories to customize your favorite characters. Over here, it says featuring 40 new and classic tracks, including Decorator and The World Is Mine. Over here, it says the ultimate compilation for fans and newcomers alike. All right. Um, from what I just showed you, it says it on the PS Vita copy as well, except the PS Vita copy does have additional content. It says it right here in the small box over here. It says edit mode, a highly customizable music video creation tool is available as a separate download and requires 900 megabytes of free space. With that being said, let's just go straight into the uh, specs for the PS Vita. It says single player. Memory required 2 megabytes, front and rear camera, touch screen rear touchpad, and motion sensor. Um, now let's go on to the PS3. The PS3 copy says single player, 6 megabytes required hard drive space, 480p, 720p, 1080i, 1080p HD video output, and you can also do with the 3D. It is a Blu-ray disc. And both these ratings are the same. The reason why it's T14, I'll just put it on top of each other. The reason why it's T14, there's alcohol reference, mild suggestive themes, and mild violence. Hmm, mild violence. All right, let's start the unboxing. Let's start out with the uh, PS Vita copy. As soon as you open it up, you got a piece of paper on the left and the game cartridge on the right. Let's take a look at what's on the left. You've got what it seems to be a, uh, a card. Yeah. Yeah. In the front is uh, Hatsune Miku. Level 1, zero cost. Mm, not really too sure about this one. And we got the manual here. We are. Same thing as the front cover. Let's skim right through this. Um, it tells you about the rhythm game, tells you about targets, and uh, stars. You got a lot of warnings. Tells you about the warranty and also technical support. 
Uh, it seems to be in a different language on the next part. You got notes at the end pages. Here's the back of the manual. It's a solid black color. The game was developed or published by Sega. Put that back inside. Get a quick zoom in of the game cartridge here. All right, and let's move on to the PS3 copy. As soon as you open it up, you got the, uh, oh, forgot a piece of the uh, plastic seal. All right, you got the uh, manual on left and the game disc on right. Let's take a quick look at the manual. The manual does seem to be the same front cover as the uh, front cover. And let's skim right on through. All right, you got warnings, 3D game notice, and warning. Tell you some more notices getting started about the characters over here. Let's get a quick zoom in of the characters. All right, and right below that, that's the basic menu controls. And back to the skimming through. You got the systems data. Tells you about the modes, about the targets, uh, the network, add-on content. Um, what is this? Oh, it seems to be like the conditions, the preamble, the warranty, and the limitations on warranty about technical support in the bottom. And uh, seems to be in a different language now. Yep. And you got the notes in the back. The back of the front cover on the manual does seem to have the uh, solid black, just like the uh, PS Vita manual. Let's get a quick zoom in of the uh, game disc. All right, and with that being said and done, we just wrapped up the Project Diva F Second. Um, and as always, thank you guys for staying in tune with Popping Games for unboxings. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.